afternoon everybody now we are going to go back and continue about the different kinds of behavior therapies okay we had talked about different therapies that are part of ABA and we are going to continue this the first one we have um, we call floor time now floor time incorporates um, elements of the ABA um, into a system of teaching that is child directed and it involves teaching specific a specific skill but the therapist interacts with the child um, during prior uh, playtime now this is child directed so the therapist is following a, a child's um, lead this can be taught to parents and other caregivers and it is done in addition to be um, ABA so if they have ABA in addition they will also uh, have some floor time activities now the theory behind floor time is that engaging uh, with the child during his chosen playtime routines, a, a therapist or even a parent can teach the child a more complex interactions and they can incorporate language and even social skills. Now this helps the child learn. It helps them to process experiences and sensations and interaction, which will help the child develop language, self-help, and social skills. Now, for example, if a child is sitting on the floor playing with a car, the parent or the therapist may sit down in front of the child and they may take a car and play with it as well. They may move the car in front of the child's car, and this requires the child to think and to interact with the other car. Now, what is he going to do? Is he going to drive the car around? Is he going to go over? Or is he going to go through the therapist's car? Now, the therapist can also place her hand on the floor and drive her car over like a hill. Now this, like this, okay, this encourages the, um, the child um, to use, um, you know, also more thinking skills. So is the child going to repeat this interaction? Then the therapist can tell him, okay, you're going to go up and over. So this encourages a language and this encourages the child to be more interactive with um, the people around him. This is called play with a purpose. Now floor time is not just a random play um, activity. It is an organized therapy with a specific approach and instructions and guidelines and tools. It can be a useful therapy aid even in, in a school-based therapy or home-based or center-based. Um, so it can be used uh, pretty much uh, any place, but it is very organized and it has clear instructions. So you need to go by um how the therapy is supposed to be done now the next one we have we call it functional communication training or fct this is another supplement learning system that is done in addition to the aba it is based on the theory that problematic behaviors or a form of communication for the child with autism who can't otherwise communicate. So if a child is having a meltdown, uh, he's trying to communicate something. Maybe he's trying to communicate that he's hungry. Maybe he wants to go outside, but there's a reason for that meltdown and he is trying to communicate 
what he wants. So in this case, the therapist is going to first try to determine what the child is trying to communicate um, from the child's behavior. And this can be, this can vary depending on the setting or the circumstances. Then she will teach the child how to communicate verbally or non-verbally um, instead of acting out or having a meltdown. For example, a child might have a tantrum to indicate that he's tired and doesn't want to perform a certain task. So the therapist will demonstrate a more acceptable way for the child to get the message across instead of having a meltdown, such as teaching him to ask for a break or point to a chair to sit in down to rest. By repeating this technique or this lesson over and over um, a lot of times, the behavior challenges of autism can diminish little by little and the child's communication skills, either verbally or non-verbally, uh, can increase. Now, we have something called TEACH. What does TEACH stand for? It stands for Treatment and Education of Autistic and Related Communication Handicap Children. Now, this is a school-based program and it emphasizes a very approach to a very um, structured approach to learning. It is sometimes also called structured teaching. Uh, specific, specifics will vary or it can vary between schools, but the general approach to setting up the classroom is the same. So we, uh, we set up this uh, classroom with workstations. Now, task and learning exercises are visually oriented, often with pink, uh, pictures or one-word instructions, instead of um, long uh, printed instructions that a child can't read. Predictable schedules allow the children to move from one to task to another uh, smoothly. Now, children usually work alone in this, but small ac uh, group activities can also be uh, uh, put in place. For those children that actually do well in this, um, TEACH can also be implemented at home. Okay, this is uh, the end of the, this module and the behavior therapy. And in the next module, we are going to go into different uh, kinds of uh, therapy. Thank you for listening and have a great day.